COVID-19 is not going away. Not until we have a widely available and effective, not until we have a widely available and effective vaccine. But how do we quickly make vaccines? They take years to develop. Human challenge studies may be one way, but Charles Weyer points out that these are ethically tricky and we need to be careful about how we approach them. Weyer is a Western University professor in the departments of medicine, epidemiology and biostatistics and philosophy. He joined 13 other international experts to develop key guidelines for the ethical acceptability of COVID-19 human challenge studies. These were issued by the World Health Organization or WHO in early June 2020. In such studies, researchers intentionally, in such studies, researchers intentionally infect healthy volunteers with the disease. In such studies, researchers intentionally infect healthy volunteers with the disease to test potential treatments or vaccines. Scientists can quickly test vaccine candidates and identify the most promising ones for further trials. This kind of research has been carried out for decades, but in highly controlled laboratory, in highly controlled laboratory environments for malaria, influenza and cholera. Five years ago, five years ago, five years ago, Weir and his team published guidelines for human challenge studies. They limited the risk to participants, making it clear that participants may not be exposed to a potentially fatal disease unless there is a curative treatment. But currently, there isn't any cure for COVID-19. So how can we justify the risk of human challenge studies? The 2020 WHO guidelines suggest that the risk for COVID-19 human challenge studies should fall within acceptable limits. They should be ethically justified. They should restrict participation to healthy people aged 18 to 29. And they should set high standards for informed consent. So why are we doing risk? <clears throat> so why are we doing riskier studies during COVID-19? Weir says, if people have a good chance of being infected outside the human challenge study, it offsets the risk of them being exposed for research purposes. This story was adapted from Crystal McKay's Western News article, Western Scholar Contributes to WHO Human Trial Guidelines. Weir is a Canada Research Chair in Bioethics. His work is leading, his work is leading to a deeper understanding of the ethical obligations that scientists have with people who agree to participate in health research. In health research.